Hi, I'm Jesse Adler, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be taking an ordinary lighter, like this one that you see here, and I'll be turning it into um, some sort of flamethrower with a larger flame. Let's get right into it. Okay, so here I have the lighter, and you can see I've drilled some holes so that I can fit this little screwdriver in them. Uh, this was too big before. So I'm going to put it in here, I'm going to unscrew these screws just by hand. That one's unscrewed. Let's do this one. And um, this is actually the third uh, kind of this screwdriver that I've taken apart, the fourth total, or er, <laughs> screwdriver, uh, third lighter that looks like this that I've taken apart. These I think are made by Vaughn's uh, grocery store. And um, yeah, I've stripped quite a few. This is the first one that I haven't script, uh, stripped either screw. And uh, you just have to use the right screwdriver, so that's crucial, taking these apart. Now, on this bigger screwdriver, I have this little uh, flathead, and I'm going to use that as a pry tool to get this little grip thingy off. Um, and I'm going to try to be careful not to break any of these parts as I do that, um, so that I can put them all back together. So now it should come right apart. Let's see if I use this just to get right inside there. Perfect. I think I'm going to go... Oh, okay. I have to cut through this label. I'm just going to use my screwdriver to do that. Cut right through there. And now it comes right apart. And of course it's still connected here, so I want to be careful so I don't bend it. But basically this part right here, the fuel tank, is what I want. So I'm going to take that out. Uh, let's get it out, and then that can go back together. So here is the fuel tank, and uh, let's see, can I fit this back together? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to do it normally, and you can see there it is going. Now as I turn this little thing to the right, and originally it was up here to make the flame bigger, but you couldn't really turn it more than like a centimeter, um, because of that little thing, so now let's try. You see it's a ton bigger, way bigger. So um, now I'm going to turn it left even more until I hear some fuel coming out, and then I'm going to turn it back a little bit, because I don't want fuel leaking. Okay, I heard fuel there leaking for a second, so I went back a tiny bit, and now it should be good. Let's see. Oh, let's try it. Actually, I'm gonna, um... Hmm, how should I do this? Way bigger. Um, you can't really see it here, but now I'm gonna put this back inside. Or actually, first I need to take off this little flap because it's not going to be in the right place. So let's grab some scissors. Um, there they are. Got my scissors. And let's see, can I just snip it right off? Or here, which way does this go? That fits right in there. Just trying to see how this fits back together, because there's a little piece that you have to press for fuel to come out, and I want that to be in the right place, so that when I pull the trigger, it presses that piece. So I think I'm going to turn the camera off for a minute, fiddle around with it, and then uh, when I get it on, I'll put the camera back on. So I actually just managed to get the top off, and what I do, what I did is uh, this little piece that was out here, I used the screwdriver to push it off, and now I'm able to get these parts back in. So I'm going to put them back how they were, and then I'll get you back on. 
So I'm not really able to uh, set it down and show you closely how it is, but um, if you pause the video and look there, that's how it is. I'm holding the wires back. So now I'm going to fit the top back on. Uh, um, I'm not sure. I'm going to do some more fiddling around and I'll get you back on. So here you can see that it is quite a bit bigger of a flame, but I'm still not satisfied. So I'm going to open it back up and see if I can get it a little bit bigger. Okay, so I have it all put to back together and you can see here you can see here that it works, and yeah, it works pretty well. Also, you'll notice that I put these little wires on the front um, so that when it's going, they heat up and get red hot. They're a bit of hanger wire from Home Depot. They heat up and get red hot, um, and that makes it so the flame does not go out.